This is our dry period. Now, as we make our way through the month of May, we typically get a little bit more rain than we have in March and April. But as far as April, we did not pick up any rainfall officially out at the El Paso Airport. Yeah, the west side and the upper valley got hit with some of the rain when we had that big hailstorm last Tuesday. But this is the 15th time now since records began way back into the late 1800s that we did not pick up any rainfall for the entire month. Now, as we've been talking about, April is typically the driest month of the entire year. If you look at our latest future track computer model, we're not going to be tracking any clouds, any rain in store for tonight. However, tomorrow we start to see some increasing high level clouds move through here and the winds are still going to be a factor. It is still going to be hot. Once we head into Wednesday, some of these high level clouds still going to be hanging around. The model wants to take some upper level moisture and throw it in there. It doesn't appear that this will be hitting the ground, but it's something to watch as we make our way into a Wednesday morning. You can see that little band continues to make its way off towards the east. We're going to clear the skies Wednesday, but we're still going to be dealing with some winds across town. So windy tomorrow and windy conditions expected for our Wednesday as well. We have some fires down in Mexico. If you look at our smoke and haze tracker, some of this could work its way in here. Once we head into tomorrow morning, you can see some of the smoke, some of the haze around town. That will continue to lift up towards the north and the northeast by 11 o'clock. We're still anticipating to see some of this activity even into the afternoon hours. It starts to move up into the Sacramento Mountains, into Otero County, you folks in Alamogordo, and then points out towards our east right around Sierra Blanca and Van Horn. But it will continue to move out of here. But kind of keep in mind, we're going to likely see some of that throughout the day tomorrow. Here's the winds. 30 tomorrow, 35 on Wednesday. The winds come down, I think, Thursday and Friday to 25. And then watch out as we make our way towards the weekend. We're looking at the potential of those gusts hitting about 40 to uh, 55 miles per hour. Tomorrow, here's how things look. 7 o'clock at 61, some of these high clouds. Lunchtime at 80, and by 3 o'clock, we'll be at 86 degrees with those winds out of the west and southwest. So 88 the next couple of days, Wednesday at 88, 87 on Thursday. But again, we're going to be dealing with some low and windy conditions. Then some mid-90s come our way as we make our way into the weekend, but some stronger winds by Saturday and Sunday, Mark. Doppler, thanks so much.